1944, breakthrough. For tank commanders, there was no real front line. They met the enemy where he could be found. A few weeks after D-Day, U.S. intelligence discovered that a Panzer tank column had been redirected during the night to take positions near Filet. Our forces were ordered to engage them. The trap was set. Once the enemy was engaged, individual initiative took over. The front was fluid. Small infantry tank teams drove ahead, often to find that the enemy had closed ranks behind them. Tank detachments found themselves cut off from command. Spearhead tanks pushed on, even though cut off. Infantry units met up with them, and together they pushed on, attacking as they went. Supplies ran short or disappeared entirely. Tanks were low on fuel. They fought on. American name or a French name? I'm gonna call him Harry. Why not? Those tanks got up behind us about here. We lost the battalion here. We angled north and east, more or less. This road isn't even on the map. From the rate we've been traveling, I'd say this is our position. What's your guess? How about yours, Lieutenant? Thanks for the vote of confidence. Now, this town, Gavray, right off the main road, is just beyond the edge of the woods. We'd be sitting ducks if we move out in the open while it's still daylight. I'm open for opinion, Sergeant. What's yours? Well, I figure we have about an hour and a half. Before what? We know what's back there coming our way. Tanks. When they catch up to us, we'll be sitting ducks. Period. Ba, ba, 
We're little black sheep who have gone astray. Ba, ba, ba. Yes, I. Knock it off. Well, you're mean this morning. You're mean. Yeah, real mean. Can't tell who's around, so just keep your eyes open. We get plenty of sack time when we reach our objective. Objective? What objective? Name one. Oh, Paris? Paris is the way. Forget it. When I get me a purple heart, I'll land. You see him, huh, Doc? Where are they? Easy. Easy. Quiet, Pop. It's gonna be all right. Take half the men and try to flank them. Right. Get off. Wait a minute. You just got us out of this mess, and we we appreciate it. But the way I see it, and you just stop me if I'm wrong, it's all the same war. Now, we could use a ride. I'm not running a bus line here. I'm low on fuel. I got all the load I can carry. Now, if you want to stick with me, you can walk. Sergeant, you in communication with your unit commander? No, sir. Not anymore, sir. The captain was killed about 30 miles back. There were seven panzers and three of us. This is all that's left. Now what's your objective? Stay alive. Let the war catch up with me. Sergeant, I know you're low on fuel. So are we. Well, we've come just as far as you have since last night, only we did it on foot. Now, I know you'd like a bunch of paddle feet along with you, just as much as we'd like a ride on this tank. Is that an order? If you want to make it one, Sergeant. Yes, sir. What's eating him? I don't know. What about, um, what about Wiggins, Lieutenant? After the vision breaks out, we'll come back and get him. Right, Lieutenant.
All right, man, let's go. Hop on. Looks like we got a ride. Lieutenant? Certainly appreciate it if you could spare a couple of guys to help us cover up this tank. Sure. Jones and Kelly. Thank you, sir. Sergeant. Yes, sir. That's the second time today you saved our necks. Don't mention it, sir. Thanks. What now? Fuel. This tank uses four gallons to the mile, and we still got a long way to go. All right. Osterhals, watch out for booby traps.
I'd better go tell the lieutenant about this. Tell him what? That there were people here just a little while ago. Well, they probably hightailed it from the woods when the hardware started falling on them. Wouldn't you, Doc? Yeah, but wouldn't they come back when they saw Americans? Beats me. I'm gonna go tell the lieutenant. Lieutenant! Fire burning the fireplace back there. There's food cooking and the table's all set, but there's nobody around, no one. Lieutenant, looks like the tank have found something. Hey, Christy! Pirelli! Get up here! I'm gonna fuel my vehicle and move out. Unless the uh, lieutenant has some objections. You're on your own, Sergeant. Thank you, sir. You may have some problems. Friends, Americans. No parlez français. Are you parlez anglais? Americans? You Americans? Yes, Americans. The enemy gone. Everybody gone. Nothing here. Go. Please, go. When did the enemy leave, Father? How many were there? Which way did they go? Father, where are the rest of your people? The Bosch. Gone. Everybody. Gone. Go. Please. Go. He's just saying words someone told him to say. He knows where they are. Sergeant!
Come on, eat, kid. Goodness. Come on, now eat something. That's some soup. That's good soup. Come on. Now, how are you going to be strong, huh? Strong like me. Look. Look at me. Strong like Tarzan. You know who Tarzan is? Huh? <coughs> funny? Huh? Not so funny? Don't eat. Anything? It's quiet. Just quiet. Doesn't make much sense. Hey, how you doing, Shorty? Won't eat a thing, I like can't. I don't understand it. Why did they pull out so soon? Ideal location, complete command of the road. For all I know, a big push could go right through here. How's the Padre? Doc's with him. See anything of our friend? Oh, yeah, he's out there walking around, all alone. In more ways than one. Sounds philosophical. Look, Sergeant Dane is not your problem, he's not mine, he's nobody's but his own. How is he? I wish I knew enough to be sure, sir. He just keeps mumbling and tossing. Any English? Somebody must have told him what to say. Must have. friend, an American officer. We want to help you, Father, but we need your help. Pas anglais. Pas anglais. No English. Eggs and bacon. Chop bacon with eggs. Here we are. Coffee. Two shakes will have us a hot cup. 
And you are clever, Morello. My own invention. I may patent it for the next war. There ain't gonna be another war. Uh, there is if they keep making us eat K-rations. You boys having a picnic or something? Or do you just want everybody within 10 miles to know that we're here? Ah, oh, Sarge. Now put How that about... out. Put that out right now. Why don't you go into one of those empty houses? Because we can't. We got orders to stay with the wagon. Oh, whatever Sergeant Dane says, you do, right? Something wrong with that Sarge? No, there's nothing wrong with following orders. What's his problem? What's whose problem? We got no problems. What's with Sergeant Dane? So what's to tell? So it's a lousy war, so some guys blow their corks. Is that why the both of you want him to drop dead? We didn't say anything like that. No, you didn't say it. When the Panzers hit us, he kept pushing, right? After the captain got it, he was on his own. He could have sold out. Yeah, but he didn't. He went right at him and threw him. Whatever else you say about him, he's a soldier. You've got to give him that much. All right, he's a one-man war. Now, come on, what's his problem? Well, off the record, he is kind of a mixed-up character. I'll go on, tell him. He's a, a spoiled priest. A what? He studied for six whole years, worked like a dog. Then they threw him out. Why did they throw him out? What happened? I don't know. He even had his, his robe and, and a collar on and, you know, all the rest of the uniform. Everybody in our outfit knows. Rides him all the time, every minute. So now he rides you? And everybody else. You blame him? How could a guy forget something like that? Yeah, but him pushing us all the time ain't gonna last forever. Someday we're all gonna be civilians again. Oh, I see. Then you're gonna walk up to him in the middle of some street somewhere, huh? Yeah. And I'll say, pow! Here's for that little old padre in France, I'll say. Well, Morello, when that happens, you'll be sure to let me know. I want a ringside seat. You really hate him, don't you? Yeah.
in there if I were you. You're off limits. That's official, Sergeant. Dane? I was talking to Morello and Christy. And they told me something. Something that's keeping me from putting my hands on you and just throwing you right out in that street. They told me that you were a... a spoiled priest. Is that what they call me? That's right. Well, I can explain a lot of things, like you blowing that cross off that church, going after the padre the way you did. And I can understand why a man is trying to get something out of his system. But one war is enough to fight at one time, so why don't you just forget about the one inside you until this one is over? I don't need any advice from you, Sergeant. A lot of things that Christy and Morella didn't tell you. You want to talk about it? No, I don't. Well, you better, because we're going to tangle if you keep doing what you're doing. A week before I was to be ordained, I got into a fight. It wasn't the first time I had trouble. And they were right. I deserved everything that happened to me. Sergeant? Did you ever have anything get away from you? Something that you really wanted, that you loved, that you thought you couldn't be without? But you didn't know it until it was too late. Well, that's what happened to me. I wanted to be a priest more than anything in this life. Anything. I even thought of going back and asking him to forgive me. And I think they would have. Why didn't you? Because of the war. The war won't last forever. I oh, won't it? And you think I could go back now and start all over? A lot of us will. Well, it's not the same for me. You know how many men I've killed. You know how many I've killed because I had to? You think it's easier for me because you're closer to God? Whatever we do, whatever happens to us, we're going to have to live with it. And if we get out of here alive and get back home, we're just going to have to learn to live with it. That's the way I figure. That's not the way I figure. No, you want to know why? Because you've got no guts. That's why you got yourself thrown out like you did. Because way down deep inside, you didn't think you were man enough. And you want to know something, Sergeant? You were right. Can I go in now? Why? What do you want to do in there? You want to grab that Padre? It's not going to make you feel better, is it? I want to go to confession. He says he wants to confess. You speak French? No. No French. Mihi Kanosi. Pater Mihi Kanosi. 
Peccatum mihi che non si cori recomisi. I thought you said he couldn't speak French. That's Latin. Oh, you're a good They're talking like they were friends. They are friends. Come on. Let's leave them alone. Novis perdite. Oh, lost sheep. Pasta perdite. Oh, lost ship. Oh, my God. I am not worthy that thou should enter under my roof. Say but the word, and my soul shall be healed. Hoffman. Yeah. Der Priester. Was ist mit ihm? Er ist nicht zurückgekommen. Den haben die Amerikaner. Was ist, wenn ich sage, wo wir sind? Er wird nichts sagen. Ein guter Hirte bringt seine Herde niemals in Gefahr. Il faut que nous sortons d'ici. Tais-toi, mon vieux. Mais vous me tuez tous. Non, pas si nous faisons ce qu'il dit. Ah, ce sont des bouchers. Ils ont tué tous les gens du village du sud. Tais-toi, je vous en supplie. Pensez aux enfants. Mais c'est ce que je pense, les enfants. Ils sont des massacres. Moi, je suis vieux, ça ne fait rien. Mais les enfants, moi, si j'aurais un fusil. Oh, et ça manque que tu ne l'en as pas. Sounds like the division's getting ready to break out. Be too soon to suit me. I get lonely. Sergeant, what do you make of Dane? Seems he and the Padre learned their Latin from the same book. Only the sergeant didn't get to graduate. Who told you that? Morello and Christie. I guess a man can carry a live bomb inside him just so long. Put it there. Well, he did, but that doesn't make it any easier. Being a tank sergeant isn't the best way to becoming a priest. Meaning he doesn't think you can get there from here. Lieutenant, he killed ten men today, maybe more. Then there was yesterday, then the day before. It's like I keep saying. Thinking war. Lieutenant? Lieutenant, it's yeah. the Padre. Not here. Down the Eglise. Not here. You'll be killed. At the Eglise. You'll be killed. Assassinated by the Bosch. From the Eglise. Sortir from the Eglise. Church. Let's go. Oh, oh mon Dieu. Come to Achtung! Achtung! Was machen Sie denn da? Padre! Was machen Sie da? 